Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel, Taking It With Kirsten. So, if you don't see the title already, I am going to be talking about my experience going back to work with my newborn after having a baby and also my other children. You know, the experience from my point. So, let's get into it. I went back to work, I had my baby in May, and I went back to work when she was almost three months. So, let's see, it was the end of July. I went back to work the end of July. So she was going, she was born May 7th. So, she was almost three months old. Um, so going from three to four kids, you know, and her being a newborn, um, it was already kind of tough with the three, but they're older, they're in school, so uh, the schedule kind of worked out, you know, they'd be at school all day, I'd be at work, we'd come home together, but the, having the newborn, I had to, you know, you have to find someone to babysit, and it's just a whole change, a whole new, a whole different ball game, having a newborn and you know, they don't go to school all day and things like that. So, when I went back to work, um, I was kind of ready. I was ready. I missed, I missed my schedule. I missed, you know, getting up and looking, looking forward to going to work and having something to do. I was at home all day, uh, just doing nothing really. I, I didn't have anything to do. I was just home and just taking care of the baby, the kids, and I really did want to get back to work. But now that I'm back in work, uh, baby is five months. She just turned five months. Um, when I went back to work, it, she was smaller. It, it was okay. She was waking up, uh, I think, like three times in the night. She was waking up three times. and I mean, I wasn't really exhausted, but yeah, I'm tired. I, I'm tired. I have three other kids too. But um, I missed her. I did miss her. I miss her now. And then... Um, when she had recently got sick and I just wanted to, I had to leave her. I wanted to like hold her and cuddle her all day. She was running a fever and I just had, you know, I had to go to work. So I think that's the hardest part when she was for me, when she was sick and I couldn't, you know, like I couldn't cuddle her. But my sister, if you guys don't know, my sister lives two doors down from me and she watches my kids. Now, some people might not have that arrangement. Some people might have to, you know, put their kids in daycare, put their newborn in daycare. And personally, I couldn't. But if, you know, but I'm the main provider for myself and my kids. And if it did come to that point, that's something that I would have to do. She would have had to go to daycare, you know. I, the schedule would have been a lot different. So I really do appreciate that my sister does watch the kids for me so my schedule we get up i have to be to work at 6 45 so we get up at 5 in the morning what do we after 5 about 5 30 we get up um we get ready the girls get ready and thankfully you know i don't have multiple babies the girls my youngest was seven before the baby so, you know, they can get up, they can get themselves dressed, uh, they get their school clothes out at night, the night before, for the next day. So they'll have everything ready. And, you know, they can brush their teeth, they know how to put their shoes on, you know, they know how to do all that. So in the morning, I'm just getting myself ready and I'm just, you know, just changing the baby, changing her diaper. I'll give her her bottle. She wakes up early, she wakes up, like, when we're getting up. So I'll give her her bottle and then, um, we will... I'll get dressed and then I'll get her dressed, brush my teeth and all that. So the mornings are pretty, and I'll do a video on that, you know, like a morning routine with my other kids and my newborn to show you guys how that goes. But I can understand, like, um, you know, I have that arrangement with my sister to where we, I take the girls to her house, she watches my baby, you know, she keeps her all day. I get off work at 3.15, the girls are getting off of school at that time, so she puts them on the bus for me. Like I said, she keeps the baby all day, and then I come home, and it goes from there. So, you know, and a lot of people, I I'm, I'm, might be one of the lucky ones to have that arrangement with my sister. She lives so close, and, um, you know, it's just a walk over there, drop the kids off, and then I'm to work. But if, she, you know, if she didn't live there and I didn't have that arrangement, you know, it would be total, something totally different. So I do appreciate that I do have that. But, um... 
Going back to work, um, I miss the baby. I would ask my sister for pictures. I still do. I ask my sister for pictures all day. So while I'm at work, I look at her pictures and um, that's about it. Um, it wasn't a horrible, terrible experience. Like I said, I mean, I was just home, not doing much of anything. You know, I would go out during the day, me and my sister might, you know, go have breakfast or lunch or something. But I really wasn't doing anything at home, really. And I was really bored, so went back to work. And yeah, she was almost three months when I went back. I mean, I think that was a pretty good age. I stayed home with her until she was almost three months. I miss all my kids. I miss them. Um, I want to know how they're doing. I want to know what they're doing during the day. But um, I do trust my sister, you know, you can't trust daycares these days, a lot of things are happening. I would be really upset if it did come down to that, but hopefully if it, one day it does, she's bigger or I can have a different, you know, type of arrangement if I don't have this one, you know, with my sister and everything. But um, let's see, um, yeah, when she got sick, let's see. She had got sick and she was waking up a lot at night. I mean like off and on crying and then uh, it was hard to get her to go to sleep. I would go to sleep maybe around 11 or 12 when she was sick and she was waking up a lot like crying, crying, crying and um, I really couldn't console her and I knew I had to go to work the next day. Um, and getting up in the mornings, they're not really that bad. I mean, I'm tired, yeah, but once you get up and you get going, you get moving, brush your teeth and all that, you know, you know that you, you know you have to do it, you know you're up, so I guess that's the motivation, you know you have to do it, so I guess that's the type of energy that gets me going and keeps me pumping in the morning, but let's just say I stop for coffee almost every morning. So I've been in work since end of july it is now october so i've been in work for three almost three months the end of october and um you know it's just the usual i think um she fits it just you know it's like this puzzle piece and you just put it where it fits it just goes so you just work your the schedule that you had before you just improvise and put you know, put the new, I have a newborn, so I just put her in, put her in the schedule. If she's just another, she's just a piece of the puzzle. So that's really how it is. Um, um, if you have a baby, you know how it is in the middle of the night. So imagine just on top of doing that at night, what you have, and then going to work. So, so, so far the experience, um, it's not really that bad, I don't think. I mean, yeah, I'm more tired, I mean, all moms are tired but you know working moms that's a working moms versus stay-at-home moms to me it is different it's a lot different um i was a stay-at-home mom for years my daughter's just turned 11 i've been at home i'm washing clothes so um i've been at home with her with all the kids until they started school so this is my first experience going to work with a newborn so i was a stay-at-home mom so i know the difference um let's see stay-at-home moms you know you guys can you can sleep more you can sleep more you can put the baby to sleep you don't really have to do the housework if you don't want to but you know working moms we have to cut out that big chunk of our day to go to work so that big chunk that you have from morning until your kids come home from school, you have that whole, that whole day, you know, you can catch sleep or you can do the housework, you know. Me, working moms like myself, we have the kids, uh, housework, uh, what else, dinner, we have all the things that stay at home moms do plus going to work. So, you know, to me, my experience, it is different. It's a lot different. So, um, like I said, the experience from, from my perspective, from my point of view, wasn't really that bad. Now, um, it could turn different, you know, it could be different, but so far it's not really that bad. She's five months, like I said, she just turned five months. Um, she's a good baby, she's a good baby. She sleeps 
pretty, she sleeps good. Um, it was just the occasions where she's sick, she didn't feel well, um, or teething, you know, I think she is teething. So, you know, all of that on top of, you know, middle of the night wake ups and um, having to get up at 5.30 to go to work. So, that's pretty much my experience going back to work with a newborn. And I'm gonna make a video to show you guys, you know, our routine and oh, been having really sore uh, muscles. So I'm gonna make a video and show you guys, you know, how we do it in the morning, how I do it, our routine, and you know, how everything goes down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for coming back to Kick It With Kirsten.